What are you doing? Just posting the Facebook real quick. Tagging us. Oh. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. This movie is the bomb.com. Didn't really think about that before, so. What's up everybody? Welcome to Initial Reaction. My name is Philip. I'm Charles. And we are talking Snowden, the new movie from director Oliver Stone. It stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Shailene Woodley, mainly those two, but a whole bunch of other people pop up in this movie. But Initial I, Reaction, I guess I did not look at the cast before I, I went didn't in. Either. I, every new person, like I did, I just looked at you. Yeah. Nick Cage. <laughs> Nick Cage. Uh, 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 Eastwood. Eastwood's was in it. There. Um, Logan Marshall Green, uh, Keith Timothy Stanfield, Oliphant. Timothy yeah, Oliphant. yeah a ton of people. Uh, what's the just peppered in there too? Yeah, not like but main not, characters, not in there no. the whole time. No, just I, like no. as different characters here and there. So Reese Ifans, I think is how you say his With name. Witherspoon's how you pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he, uh, so no, I. Honestly, like I wasn't overly interested in this movie to begin with. It just, it's one of those, you know, Oliver Stone does these historical movies, but this history is so current, it feels like right. I didn't know that he was going to be able to get a real good grasp on it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it it's, just, there's a lot of information. Um, it kind of had that feel of big, the big short where it was taking like very complicated things and, and boiling them down or having breakaways to explain certain things. You know what I mean? Not to yeah. the point of like, here's well, Mario I, Robbie in a bathtub. Yeah. But but like certain things like, what's what's that do? And it's like the right. thing. Oh, yeah. well, it just, you just type in what you want and it's there. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. On, but on very not as programs. entertainingly as The Big Short does it. Yeah, not as I really love The Big Short and yeah. if this would have attempted to do or have any of the kind of ambition yeah. that that movie had. It might have been a little more entertaining, but at two hours and 15 minutes, it yeah. just was kind of a So slog. we're used to, and we're used to like, I mean, aren't they all presidents? It's like JFK, Nixon, W. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like he the does ones a lot he of them. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the ones he has done have been president. So the thing about that is those are interesting people, and I feel like he's picked a subject, uh, to me, Edward Snowing, like the, Ed, Edward Snowden, whatever, <laughs> is is kind of a boring person. Like yeah, it's like I mean, this like, extraordinary circumstance that happened to a boring person. That's yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> like what he did was interesting and his his like there could be a really interesting movie right. here. Like everything that went on and what led up to this. Which and, Steven Spielberg with Lincoln, like I thought I was like, this is gonna after seeing <laughs> like, Daniel Day Lewis do his thing, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be probably pretty boring too. Yeah. But you're gonna like it because it's the time periods, it's significance. Right. But I actually had a lot more fun, like a lot more interesting, like my attention was held more in something like Lincoln than it was something like this. Yeah, no, this where was where it's like, okay, the person might not that Abraham Lincoln is boring, but you know, his right, no. speech though well, it was time. Yeah. You know, like Stuff yeah, like that, no. you know. And this well, they is, did it. Boring, they so. did it in a way where it just focused on a couple of months right. out of his life. They didn't try to do this entire story and like cover as much of a time frame as Snowden does. Snowden tries to cover from the beginning of his career Nine in years. the military, yeah, to up until uh, 2013 when everything broke and right. all that. And uh, but no, I just. Like I can see the good intentions here, right? But it's just it's it's really boring. What did you think? This is like the second year in a row. Last year, Joseph Gordon-Levitt does the walk, right. and he does right. this 
French accent and it's just weird. And now he's doing this I impersonation. Did, I didn't like it in the previews. It didn't bother me. It just fade, faded into the background. It did, I did eventually get so used to it right, that yeah. I just kind of accepted it and went with it. But it was still just, it, you could just, it just felt like a performance the whole time. Right. And which was just kind of distracting for me. Like, I know that's not what you sound like, Joseph Gordon. <laughs> right. Like, exactly. Stop it. You're just bothering me now. But no, I mean, like, even there, the intent is good and it means to do justice to the story but I just didn't I didn't feel anything off of it like it wasn't as I don't know it has the ambition didn't match the ambition at all for me right and for two hours and 20 minutes you don't you don't want to sit there that long no you yeah I mean? and if you're gonna sit there you want to be intrigued by the story especially when it has right. the capability of being compelling but it's right. just it's just not told and, it's not conveyed in a compelling way and the only thing that, what i do like about oliver stone is that he doesn't leave it he at least knows what he wants to convey to you he, yeah it's not ambiguous like here's this unbiased story let you let the the audience decide it's like here's what i think about yeah, the subject that's, was, let me tell you you yeah, know what i mean like if, it's, let me tell you what i think <laughs> And then if you don't like it, whatever. You True. Know, like watch another movie. Watch Citizen Four. Watch, you know. Uh, right. No. It, yeah. That's true. If there's one thing that, you know, you could definitely say is a positive. I yeah. mean, there there are several positives about it. It's not a completely terrible movie, but yeah, it definitely has yeah. a distinct point of view and right. uh, conveys that in a certain way. Anyway, yeah. but I don't know. Um, it was just, yeah. yeah it, it, was, it, it was, and it was crisp and clear. The shots, some of the shots were amazing. I don't know um, what uh, the cinematographer did, but like some of that stuff was just like, it was, it popped out a little bit. I'm like, because mm -hmm. so, I'm always worried about little, how they're going to make hacking and people on computers interesting. Yeah, not that stuff, but the outsiders, the outside shots and stuff kind of popped, and I'm like, that's a little, little high key. Oh, like like, like yeah, in Hong lighting. Kong, yeah, and Hawaii, and stuff like, and stuff so like yeah. There are a lot of good really, locations. That's true. Yeah, it was really the location shots were were very crisp, and it was. Well, happy what did with you that. think in this reaction? Uh, I probably give it. I would say it is. I don't know if it's so much an art house film as it, you know, like mm -hmm. Oliver Stone, but something that can be viewed at as like a piece of history, yeah, or a, a you know a view into a piece of history. Um, but I would probably give it a a, theory, a light three and a half. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh man, I gotta go. Ooh. I gotta go too. It's just yeah. one I wouldn't watch again. Like I'll, it, I'll probably never watch it again. I'll never watch it again. And even though I, you know, I didn't know a whole lot about the original news yeah. story and everything. Like I knew the basics of it and everything, but this didn't add yeah. enough to be as you yeah. know compel. It, it didn't give me a big enough reason for it to exist. Yeah, and if you have seen Citizen Four, it's there's a lot of there's. A lot of repeat information, so you might be bored by that. Yeah. Especially since it's much, so long. much like the so, walk last year. It right. needed to give me more of a reason that this Except, fictionalized <laughs> version should exist. And nobody it just didn't do that got for me. vertigo in this movie. No. So that's great. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for checking out our show. Initial reaction reviews. Be sure to subscribe to our uh, channel on YouTube. Check back every week. We have a new review of the biggest release. You can read my written reviews at reviewsfrombed.com. But thanks. We'll see you guys next week.